And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you this morning. Um, I know it's been a minute since I made a video, so I'm going to uh, make this video today because I was thinking about something today. And we know the story about how Jesus walked on the water and Peter walked out there. Well, what we learn from that story is that we must keep our eyes on Jesus. If we keep our eyes on Jesus, then we're going to be able to reach whatever it is that God wants us to reach. Sometimes we take our eyes off of Jesus in the midst of our storms. Let's read a little bit about what happened in this story. It says, Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. So the Lord said, come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat and walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? <clears throat> See, what we understand from this story, and by the way, that story is found in uh, Matthew chapter 14, verses 28. Uh, through 29 it actually starts in verse 22 uh, all the way down to 36 what well, we understand that uh, Peter was able to walk to Jesus because he trusted in Jesus when Jesus gave him the word and the command and said come uh, Peter trusted so much in Jesus that he actually got out and walked on the water and believed but then Jesus tested him by putting a little bit of a storm in his way and, and because Peter began to focus more on the storm than focus on getting to Jesus. He began to sink because he got scared. He got afraid of the circumstance that, that, that was coming his way. The wind and the waters began to move. But see, Jesus gave him a command. And if Jesus gave you a promise today, if Jesus promised you something, then understand this, that Jesus will fulfill that promise. If Jesus told you to get out of the boat and walk on the water, then you know that you're going to be able to walk on the water. If Jesus told you that he's going to take care of your finances, he's going to take care of it. If Jesus promised you salvation, he's going to take care of it. If Jesus promised you many things, Jesus is going to go ahead and take care of those things in your life. Understand that he gave Peter a promise. He gave Jesus a, a, a command. He said, come. Jesus asked, if, if it is you, Lord, tell me to come to the water. And he came. And because of that, he was able to walk on the water. But the moment he took his eyes off of the promise and the moment he took his eyes off of the command and the moment that he took his eyes off of Jesus... That's when he began to sink. Today, don't take your eyes off of Jesus. Today, don't take your eyes off of Jesus. Focus on him. Even if things are moving around in your lives and shifting, continue to focus on Jesus. And you're going to continue to walk on water. You're going to continue to reach that destination where God has set forth for you. So just continue to, to do as God has commanded. Do as God has called you to do. If God gave you that promise. Don't worry about it. God told Peter, walk. Come on. Come on to the water. Get over here. And he did, but the moment he took his eyes off of him, he began to sink. Today, don't take your eyes off of Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And I'm telling you, I promise you, you won't sink. You won't fail. God will get you through it. Amen.